morning, it's Monday, 26 September. I've actually come home from work ill because I can't stop coughing, so I'm not going to be talking for long. Every time I took a breath to speak to a customer, I wanted to cough, so that's not good. Uh, so I'm going to have a sleep for a few hours before I have to put Jen up, but I'm feeling so rough. I've got a headache as well, so I'm going to take some paracetamol. And I'm just going to relax for a bit till I have to put Jen up, and then we'll see how the day goes, try and do some colouring later. Anywho, um, yeah, so it's not good at the moment, not feeling brilliant. I will see you a bit later when I've picked up Jen. Exactly. New colour in Heather oh. magazine. Whoops, there goes the other ones. Bad Girls Halloween special. By the time uh, you see this, there will be a flip up on the channel, so that's why I don't mind showing you. Wow. It'll be cool. <laughs> right, then I'll have a drink and then do some colouring. Hey guys, it's Tuesday afternoon. I finished work. I managed to get through this today. <coughs> I'm still coughing. <coughs> As you can tell, in a minute I've got to go get Jennifer. I've just done some filming. I've done a colour and chat and two flip throughs. So I'm going to go and put <coughs> excuse me, all this on there. Computer to get it sorted. So I'm going to do that and I'll see you when I get back with Jen. We're back home from school now, aren't we, babe? You want to go to Lego Club? They're doing an after school Lego Club, so we're going to see if we can get Jennifer in. She can do that on a Monday afternoon, which would be nice for her. Go to Granddad's. We'll go to Granddad's. When we get the car back, we'll go, okay? As soon as I've got it, we'll go. As you can hear, I'm still not feeling brilliantly, but we're just sitting here having a cuddle, aren't we? And watching telly, and you're slobbering all over me, Jen. What are you doing? You just hello to your fans. Diana. You see their fans? Mm -mm. No, I don't want to say hello to them. I'm editing together last week's weekly vlog, finally, because I had to actually cut some bits out. But normally I just put it together as one long sprite and let it go. But no, and then I'm going to start editing the rest of the stuff I need to do. So I can get that up. And then, when I'm editing the next lot, I'm going to do some colouring. Yeah. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's bedtime. My voice is getting worse. I can't see me working tomorrow. I have to see how when I wake up. Oh, Jennifer's watching on the phone. Car failed, it's MOT. Um, oh I've got nine days left on that last one, so I'll go oh. and get some. Jen, shut up. I'm talking. Uh, I need you to tone her tyres. It's not a problem. I'll go and get them on, on Thursday. And uh, the other thing my mechanic will do when he gets back from his little break. He's going away for a few days with his wife. Don't blame him. I would if I could. I cannot speak. I am currently reading. Still trying to get through Salman Rushdie. It's very beautiful writing. It just needs some concentration because there's a lot going on. And holding a good thought for Marilyn. 1926 to 1954, The Hollywood Years by Stacey Eubanks. We're still waiting for part two. Um, and part three of Icon. That should be out soon. So I'm going to read a bit of both. And then I, I want to read, I think, so I'm trying to read the books I bought this month, um, apart from the H.G. Wells, because that's next month's classic. Uh, we'll see how it goes, but obviously I haven't got a long left before I, um, before the end of the month. I just wish this would clear up, because uh, it's getting on my nerves now. Anyway, I'm going to read for a bit. I'll see you later. Hey guys, it's Wednesday and I'm no better. In fact, I feel worse. I'm really wheezy today. I've just been on the phone to the doctor. Antibiotics and steroids, the usual. If it gets any worse, give them a ring back immediately. So I'm just lying in bed, colouring and watching videos. I got about two o'clock <laughs> to get some stuff from the shop I need and Pick up my script, which will be ready after two, she said. Get it filled and then pick up Jen. It's hard work. I feel terrible. It's not good at all. As you can hear, I feel rough. I'm working on this picture from Carla McGowan's Fashion Circus. It's a buddy couple of Chelsea. You'll see it when I do do my um, end of, of um, month. Overview. You never know I have a voice back by then. But, um, as that's Friday and we're on Wednesdays, I'm like, I've got one more picture I have to do. 
by the end of the month, and that's my Alice in Wonderland party for Coloropoly. So I'm going to finish this one, have a rest, and then this evening work on Alice. Oh, I hope you're well. Anyway, I am going to drink my hot drink and have a rest. I'll see you a bit later on today. Hello, my friends. It is Thursday morning. I'm still not well as you can tell. And I've... Uh, do I look a bit... Yeah, I am a bit upset. I've just finished watching... Yeah, Andrew Dominic filmed Blonde. I started watching it yesterday, I watched the first 20 minutes, turned it off because I had other things to do. And uh, the only thing I had to do was say, please don't watch it. It's horrific. I mean, it's all fiction. If you want to watch a Marilyn biopic, go watch The Untold Story. Catherine Hicks. I've heard The Secret Life of Marino is quite good, but I've not seen that one. I will have to track that down and get it um, in uh, next month. As I've, And I have posted this on Facebook and on Twitter. As a, a woman and a human being, I feel violated by what he did to her. And as a Marino fan, I am so angry. I am so upset that if he walked up to me tomorrow... I would punch him in the face. I wouldn't piss on him if he was on fire. In fact, I'd probably throw some petrol on him. I've never seen anything as bad as that. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cinematography was beautiful. The costumes and sets were spot on. Some costumes were used in the wrong sequence of Maron's personal items and stuff, but... You know, the recreations of some of the scenes were absolutely brilliant. Not good enough to fool a die-hard man, but Marilyn fan, but still good. And Anna's Armas could have been done so much more had she been given a decent script. She's a very good actress. I don't have a problem with her, but she's been given nothing to do apart from scream and cry through three hours and get sexually assaulted three or four times, have forced abortions performed on her when... She never even had one. It is a rumour that has spread through the years that she had many abortions. She never had one. I'm going to go and watch some real Marilyn now because I feel I need to. But I am so angry and I am so upset and this is going to last a long time. So <coughs> if you're curious, try and find a link where you don't have to watch it via Netflix so they don't get any. Which is, I, I watched it via Netflix. Um... Kudos for it, and leave leave uh, reviews later on when I feel up to it. I will be leaving reviews, and I will be leaving bad ones because I will praise the cinematography. I will praise Anna Armas because she did the very best that she could do. And if she'd been given a really good script to play Marilyn, she would have been brilliant. She would have. But they didn't need to do that to her. She was more. She was so much more. He took all away all of her humanity, her sensitivity, her caring, her love, her joy, her triumphs. He made it all that everybody else created her. Everybody else was responsible for her triumph. All men. The man is a misogynist. A hundred percent misogynist. I wouldn't be surprised if he's not an incel because he comes across that way. I, I, I would smack him. And I don't care, I would smack him hard. I'd put him on the ground. I'd put him in hospital. Personally, I'd like to see him in his grave. I hope that the backlash he gets from this film ruins his career. I really do. He's hurt so many people over this film. Hang on. Anyway, that's it. It's very dark. I haven't got the light on because I've been asleep. It's Friday. I'm still wheezing. I'm not feeling well at all so I'm just um, in bed uh, I've been asleep I've been reading a bit I'm reading um, two books this one is called Holding a Good Thought for Marilyn it's very big it's by Stacey Eubanks and it's 1926-1954 The Hollywood Years and, and 
this book is over 500 pages long and it only goes up to 1954 so that just shows you how complex a character Marin was and if you want to read another big biography there's the Gary Vitico Rublis books icon volume 1 and 2 which again one goes to 56 and then it's 56 to 62 both books are over 500 pages long so the fact that these people can write books that are that big shows that there was a lot more to Marin's character than has been said in the past and certainly than shows in Blonde. Talking of, of that film, I am actually watching a load of reviews on TikTok and everybody hates it. Everybody's saying how bad it is. And that the only good thing was that Anna Armas did the best she could do with what material she had. And, she, and to be fair, she is a good actress. I, 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 she, how are they convinced her to make this film? I, I don't know, because she deserves better than that, same as Marilyn does, because she is very good. And I liked, I liked her. They did a great with her look. He, he, she covered up her, her Spanish-Cuban accent very, very well. Very well. Um, obviously by speaking in a, in a breathy voice, which Marilyn didn't all the time, helped. But for what she had to work with, she did a very good job. I would prefer to see her in a better film. Um, one that's not so exploitative. Uh, but maybe I need to watch the last Bond film because she was in that, wasn't she? Yeah. So I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. Um, I've put up a video today about how Blonde's not my Marilyn. Um, no speaking in it because I can't speak very well, as you can see, and I'm off sick from work, so I don't feel I should be doing a load of social media posts while I'm ill. Um, I might do a bit more reading in a minute. I might do a bit of colouring. I'm just out of breath. Her cat's been in bed with me all morning, curled up into my legs. She does that. She gets right under the blankets, literally, and goes down and either sleeps on my tummy or curls up into the crook of my legs. She gives me a little lick, and as if I think she feels safe down there. So she's very much my cat. She, I mean, she's like yesterday. She was with me all day, and again, she was asleep with me all morning, curled up on my tummy. And now she's sitting on the bed, curled up asleep with me. I'd show you, but it's it's too dark. You probably won't see that. Oh, there she is. You can't really see, but that's, this is her head here. And she's all curled up because uh, my my duvet is black as well because it's my Marilyn duvet, and I have to charge this up soon. I'll put it on charge in a minute. Um, yeah. So you're not going to get much of a weekly vlog while I'm suffering, but I thought I'd check in and <sighs> I'm so out of breath. Oh, she's having a having a groom now. You alright there, baby? Yes, you are. So I'm gonna go. I've got a little bit before time before I pick up Jan. I need to go out a bit earlier because I need to go to the chemist to get some bits. What time is it now? It's only one o'clock, so I've got another hour, so I'm gonna read for a bit. Um I have got a colouring page I want to try and finish, so I might have a go at that. And I'll see you later. This is Friday afternoon, Jennifer's home from school. She's been playing that she's still at school and eating her lunch because she's a bit strange that way. But it's already home time. But it's home time, yeah. So we put the TV on. I am curled up on the sofa with my dressing, fleecy dressing gown on. I've got a heated throw over me. It's not warm yet, it's warm enough. And a book because I'm feeling really cold and it's because I'm ill. I just feel rough. Oh, the prescription will be ready tomorrow, so I'll pick it up then. I'm just going to read for a little bit. So I'm on page 227 of 500 and something. So I'm just going to crack on. I'm enjoying it, but I can only read it for a little bit because my eyes are so tired. I need to charge this battery up tonight. Anyway, that's it. I'll see you later. Okay. Hello. We're doing something we haven't done for a long time. Sitting down. Shut up. We're doing a quiz with, what's their name? MB quizzes. That's it, yeah. MB quizzes. It's a music mash thing. Music mashup quiz. It's an online Zoom quiz. Yeah, so as you said, I'm still not feeling brilliant. Poor coughing as well now. Never cough. We're a load of old crocs in this house. So my next door neighbour, well, neighbour over the road said, she said I had another chest infection. She said if they were all, the horse, like, they would have shot me by now. She said she's right. <laughs> oh, I love her. <sighs> Chest hurts, but 
I'm tired, but we thought we'd give it a go. So Jennifer's sitting here watching TV, watching on the iPad. Well, fire. Ooh, my ears just popped then. I'll let you know when we get on. It probably won't be the high octane. Whoa, we're really excited quiz you used to. I've just had a bit of a coughing fit, so Paul had to do a bit on his own. He managed to get us up to 33rd. It's not bad. We came 35th and I still can't breathe. We're going to get Jennifer bed now, it's getting late, so she's been colouring. Look, look at her drawing. Very good, Jen. Show your drawing. Who's that for? Um, my boyfriend. What's your boyfriend's name? Harvey. Jennifer's got a boyfriend. Oh, and it's cute. Oh, bless them. Isn't they oh, lovely? Anyway, we're off to bed now. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> tired. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I've still got to charge stuff. I'm going to do it in a minute. And I am. Um, I had to sort out the washing. Very, as you can hear, I'm still very breathless. Still not right. I'll take him in meds for today, take it around lunch time and have my lunch. I don't know if it's shifting. If, I don't know. It does usually take a while to shift, so I haven't actually put the washing away. That's my job today. Uh, Paul's mum's here, so I have come up because I don't want her getting sick. Um, but that's just me. Zed's up here. Hey, baby. Hey, Zed. She is. Zeddy. Zed, say hello. She loves being up here with me. Hey, babe. See, she's uh, needing the. Uh, it's my dressing gown, bless her. So I'm going to watch some YouTube and do the washing. Then I'm going to do a bit of colouring. I think the thing's set wrong, so I'll sort that out in a bit. So although I haven't been, I haven't read a book yet, I've been updating my reading journal. I do have my stats to go. I only read eight books last month. Excuse me, I'll do those in a bit. So I'm just putting in the pictures where they were missing. Um, I've got this ready, October, and I've put the two books I've already got this month in there. So I've just got to total this up. So I've started with, um, on setting up the journal for 2023 but I've also got this lovely notebook which is called Matchstick Mouse and this is a this is actually a notebook but there is a series of colouring books um, but this is a notebook and I'm going to be using this as a colouring journal so I've set it up, I've put some pictures in I'll make sure they're stuck down um, of some various colouring books I just thought I wanted to print off some books so that I could update my journal completely so I printed off a few of these as well. I need a bit more glue and I'll do that in a minute. Um, a, so I'd have enough to print and B, so I could put some in here. Now, to be fair, it took me ages to sort out my uh, printer, but it's done now. Um, so I'm going to get this ready and then I'm going to get my book and I'm going to come up to bed because I'm feeling really rough. Hello, everybody. It's me. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm very, very tired. Still not well, as you can tell, still coughing away. Jennifer's watching YouTube on my phone using the data because we've got no internet. Apparently it's a problem with the hub not being connected to the rest of it properly, but we've checked everything. And we can't figure out what's wrong, so we're gonna have to, well, we booked an appointment, but they can't figure out till Friday, which is no good, because we both work from home. At the worst, if I, I'm, obviously I'm not going back to work just yet, because I'm not well enough. But if, if Wednesday I need to go back, I'll have to work from Mum's. Um, to go to Mum's and work from there. Oh, I'm absolutely shattered. Um, yeah. So, we got no internet, so Jennifer's watching on my phone, using up my data. I do have 40 gig a month, so it's not too bad. I believe she won't use it all up. I'm sitting here uh, colouring some Halloween pictures, because why not? I finished the Stacey Eubanks book and I'm now ploughing through this. I'm really enjoying it, it's really good. So I'm going to finish this and then I'm going to read a chunk and then I'll colour a bit more then I'll read a chunk. Um, just so tired. Oh, yeah, I really finished my course of antibiotics and my course of steroids. Um, and it is shifting but I don't feel a hell of a lot better. I might need some more, I'll have to wait and see what happens. 
yeah, I just don't know what happened. The internet was fine last night because I got the Wi-Fi working on the printer because that had not been working. Uh, Paul was down here and he came up, switched everything off, and this morning I came down to upload a video to YouTube and nothing. So who knows when this will be going up. Hopefully, if it comes to it, I'll take it down to Mum's and upload stuff from there. I just got to connect to their internet, which isn't brilliant, but I'll have to do if I'm working from there. But of course, at the moment, I haven't got the car. Carl has got the car. At least it's not raining, so hopefully he's working on it. Bless him. Um, and I'm not fit enough to walk to Mum's. Smile. I said, I'm not fit enough. I mean, with my chest. So I'm going to carry on colouring and I'll keep you updated as to what's happening because Paul's gone shopping, his mum's taking him shopping, which is really nice of her. And hopefully he'll ring Virgin Media when he gets back and say, look, we work from home, we need our internet, we cannot wait till Friday for somebody to come out. So hopefully they can then move move it forward a bit. Yeah, I don't know. So if not, I'm mean, like, I could go and work at mum's if necessary, but uh, I have to see how I feel with my chest. Oh, excuse me, it's terrible. Right, I'm going to finish colouring this picture and I'll see you in a bit. So it's Sunday night, oh, excuse the scream, it's just Jennifer. And I'm going to go to bed because I'm exhausted. I'm so full of chesty cough, out of breath, exhausted. It's been a hell of a week, as you know. And you've seen how I've been suffering. And we'll see how it goes next week. I'm hoping to go back to work Wednesday. I'm fingers crossed that I, I can, you know, I can sell it for a week and that's what I'm doing, but I will have to see how I am Wednesday morning. At least Wednesday morning I work from home anyway, so. <sighs> this must be the most boring week of vlogging for you, for you guys, because I just haven't done anything because I've been so ill. So I do apologise for that. Hopefully I'll be feeling better soon. My car's with the mechanic again. He picked it up yesterday, I think I told you. So fingers crossed. Um, I've done two colouring pages today and I've, I've read a good chunk of Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie and I'm really enjoying it. Um, when, I, when I dry my hair, I work my way through this big chunky Jack the Ripper compendium by um, compiled by Otto Penzler of the Mysterious Bookshop in New York. And it's enjoyable, but it's huge. But, so I only read it when I'm drying my hair. I sit up here and dry my hair and read a few pages. So I'm going to take my medication, lie down, go to sleep in a minute. I might read a little bit if I can, but... The thing with Midnight's Children is it's quite a dense book. Not, you know, it's full of colour and light and dark and prose and it's so beautifully written that you do need to concentrate and I am thoroughly enjoying it. It's very highbrow for me. I mean, I, I am a non-fiction person. Oh, here's trouble. Come on then. You can watch it for a little bit. All right. She's trouble. This girl is trouble. Come here. Come up here. Say hello to your fans. She's got a Spider-Man pyjamas on, haven't you? It's your turn. Come around here. Where's your turn? I can't see you. There you go, Spider-Man. Look at my shorts. Yeah, she's got a baddie knee. Should I show your knee? Which one did you wear? Uh, that one, wasn't it? Come here, where is it? Is it this one? Uh, I can't see, Jen. Turn around, this one. As you can see, let me put it on there like this. So I can actually see it. She fell over her scooter yesterday, didn't you? Yeah, I want to see yours. I haven't got any baddies. I don't fall over things. My baddie's in my chest. So you can't see it. So yeah, so we've ordered us um, knee pads. And arm pads. And wrist pads. And they should be coming tomorrow. Ah, careful. No, you haven't got a helmet yet. You will get a helmet soon now. Well, so that's it. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. When, when they have... Uh, pale thing? I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow when we start again. Helmet is for...